Broken down cars taking up public parking, cars blocking lanes of traffic, and car alarms going off in the middle of the night. Those are just some of the issues Moili Ely residents have been dealing with for years. Numerous residents reached out to Action Line saying Cooney's tow has a lot so full it had to move dozens of cars onto the street. It's already an area where parking is at a premium, and residents say they're fed up. Alexander Zane's got answers. Alexander? Yeah, Joe, as you can see, there still are cars actually on the street, and we'll see if those are moved tomorrow. But I did learn that the towing company is contracted by the city and HPD. This has been going on for, like, years. I've been putting up with it, but it's kind of getting out of control. Glenn Miyasaki has lived in his current home across from Cooney's Towing all of his life, saying he's never seen it this bad. And it's actually a little bit better. It was lined up all up the road all day today, double parked, and then they get all the stalls. Two cars in front of here is, is abandoned too. Cars line the street during the busiest time of the day. I counted more than 10, not in public spaces, but on the street blocking traffic. Rich Crandall says he had enough and started making calls. And I called the Ishimoto, Representative Ishimoto's office, and I called the complaint line for the, for the city and county. Just, and I took some pictures and I sent some as well. Just to let people be aware that, you know, it's getting, it's getting worse. I learned the company is a subcontractor of All Island Towing, which has a contract with the city and HPD. I also learned the city has recently received two noise complaints and two parking complaints about the tow yard. I attempted to speak to the company's owner, who directed me to his attorney. His attorney says the lot is at full capacity, citing a number of reasons. The primary reason is we have record numbers of unregistered vehicles. He also said a city auction was canceled this past week, which means over 83 cars, which were supposed to go to auction, are still sitting on the lot, saying the company has two other lots, which are also at capacity. But there is an end in sight. If we're not going to be at that location for long. Um, the Department of Hawaiian Homelands, uh, which is our landlord, is going to be developing the property. The towing company says they need to be out by the end of February. I reached out to the city to see what is being done about the cars on the street. In a statement, they said, Area residents should not have to compete with towed vehicles for parking, and the city is taking this situation seriously. And under the terms of the contract, Cooney's is not allowed to park towed vehicles on city streets. And Joe, the lawyer for the company said he told me his client is in the process of moving cars off the street, but there still are quite a few out here tonight and saying they hope to have the cars move by tomorrow. And we'll check up on that, of course. As of now, the towing company is negotiating a contract for a new location, but no word on where that will be. Reporting live tonight, Alexander Zanes, KHON 2 News. If you have a consumer concern, call Action Line at 591-0222 weekdays from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Or email actionline at khon2.com.